Hi, in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to lock down your WordPress website without any plugins that you have to install in WordPress uh, inside Plesk. So the first thing we need to do is log into the Plesk control panel. And we're going to head over to the domain that we want to lock down or secure the WordPress website. So this is going to be rootpaldemo.com. And if we open our website, you can see I have a WordPress website. I have a theme on it that I've loaded and I want to, I want to lock down this WordPress website. I want to make it more secure, more protected, but I also don't want to install a plugin. I don't want to use WordFence. I don't want to use any specific plugins inside of WordPress. I want to keep it, you know, clean. And so the, there's actually a great thing to do uh, inside of Plesk when you have a WordPress website and you're using the WordPress toolkit. And if you're not using the WordPress toolkit, I highly suggest it. It is the best thing for any WordPress site inside of Plesk. So I'm going to go over here to the WordPress menu. And this will bring up all your WordPress websites. So we can see rootpaldemo.com right there. I click it, it loads this little uh, interface of the website that you can see. I have some other options and tools that are, that are enabled right now. Uh, caching Nginx, debugging, search engine indexing. So if I ever wanted to remove my website from Google, you know, maybe you're doing some development right here on a page and you don't want specific pages being, you know, broadcasted to Google or any other end, uh, any other search engine, you could just turn that off and indexing is disabled and it'll block and you can go right here and it'll tell you a little, a bit more, uh, you know, how it disallows the robots.txt file just to make it not seem, uh, so Google can't see it, scan it and put it on their search engine. But what we're going to be talking about in this video is the security. So right here, you can see it says fix security and you don't have to use this, right? This is just for massive lockdown on your WordPress website. Uh, RootPal does a lot of different protections against firewall and anti-dosing. So we, we do a lot of different things to protect your WordPress website. We also take 30 day backups on every single site. So that's pretty extreme, right? But you don't want your website going down. You don't want it getting hacked because if Google sees your website's hacked and you miss it for a couple days, it could, uh, Google will detect it's a malware infected and bring it down and it hurts your business. And you don't want that. So there's things you can do to increase the security uh, and installing a plugin or doing, you know, extra security plugins is what people do. But with WordPress toolkit, we just click that and it auto we can automatically do it with the click of a button. So right here, we have all the different security features we can turn on. Um, and you don't need all of them, but you, you do want some of them, right? So I'm going to go through a few of these tell you the most important ones and enable them for my website. So this is the more critical security features you want and disable PHP execution in cache directories. Okay. So this is, you know, bots will attack your website and attack these cache directories so they can infect it and spread the bot or the malware throughout your website. Block access to sensitive files. This is a permission issue that will restrict. So if let's say your website does get a malware infected, right? It finds a way in. Uh, we can actually stop them from altering sensitive files that could potentially damage your WordPress website. And that's basically by removing the permissions to write to these files. Uh, block unauthorized access to wconfig. Another one, it uh, does not let you edit that. If a website malware bot 
whatever is trying to infect you, they want they'll want to they'll want to access the wconfig because they want to get into your database. They want to download your database. This will stop that from happening. So this is an amazing. These are these security features you have to enable. So it's simply click, click secure, and boom, it'll enable those security features. But there's some other good ones down here that you know um, you want to enable as well. The green check marks mean that it has already been enabled. And if you installed using WordPress Toolkit, uh, these are auto enabled because WordPress Toolkit, when you're installing WordPress, will just say, hey, we recommend these things. You know, uh, we, we recommend they automatically change the date, the database table prefix. So it, they're harder to detect. So there's some things that, you know, you can do. Um, but let's go ahead and enable all of them. But I'm going to disable some, right? So let's see. Uh, enable hot link protection. I don't think you need this. Um, basically, this just doesn't let people use your images. Uh, it won't let people use your images from a different URL. So if I enable this and someone took my logo and put it on their website using my link for to my website, this will just say it's not enabled um and they won't be able to use my logo using my link so it it's you know because some people will do some hackers will do a resource attack hack where they'll try and download a video or do whatever to you know resource hack you uh to shut down your website or slow your website down luckily rupal has massive servers so you don't have to worry about that we you, you there's no limits on traffic there's no limit at Rupal, any hosting, there's no limits on traffic. So that's a benefit that they can't resource hack you and use all your bandwidth. So if you're a web hosting company that says, oh, you get one terabyte of bandwidth. This is something you want to enable the bot protection because they can download a video that's on your website a thousand times and then you'll hit that terabyte traffic, right? And your website gets shut down the hosting company forces you to pay more money. And so that's something, you know, uh, that you want to enable is the enable hot leak protection because that could save you from a resource bandwidth attack. Uh, turn off pingbacks. You know, I don't I don't care if ping, people ping back my website. Yes, it stops DDoS, but a lot of comments, um, a lot of other websites will help you by pinging back to your website. So that's something you don't really need to. Um, disable file editing in the WordPress dashboard. Yeah, you want that on. Unless you have developers that need access to your file manager somehow and they need to edit files through WordPress, I suggest having this on. Um, however, you know, I also don't think you should have it on. So I'm a little bit back and forth. But if you're not doing any massive changes to the header.php or the functions.php, if you're not developing uh, inline code for the PH, for PHP, right? You can still edit your website and do a bunch of other stuff. If you're not doing any inline theme stuff, I would enable this because this is very, it doesn't let you edit files, right? Inside the WordPress, um, while you're logged in. And I think that's good. I think that is a very protective thing to have on. So this is super important to have on or leave it off if a developer is always in there and editing the files inside of WordPress. But you can f edit the files inside a file manager so, and it's just a little bit safer. So I actually don't need to edit my files you know, my inline files where you could find them in the theme editor. I don't really need to edit it, so I'm going to leave that on. Enable bot protection. Um, yeah, I'll enable bot protection. I know there's some good bots out there that help you, you know, with your SEO and stuff like that. So, but it's not worth it. Just enable bot protection. Block access to potential sensitive files. I think this is just talking about yeah, your log files, shell scripts, any executables. Yeah, we don't want that. Block access to .htaccess and .h. Okay. So this one, 
is a little bit tricky. I, I'd leave it unchecked because a lot of different plugins um, write to this file, right? And so a lot of caching plugins write to it, a lot of other type of plugins write to this file. So if you enable this right here and you install a plugin, it's actually going to break and the plugin will break. It won't be able to write to this .ht access file and you're going to have some issues. However, let's say you're done editing your WordPress website. You have all the, the you have all your plugins installed. You're not doing any modifications uh, anytime soon. Then you can check this and then secure it. But then when you do development right on your WordPress website, I would come back and uncheck this. Um, but this is, I, I leave this unchecked personally. I don't think it's a big deal. Some people are security freaks and they think that it should be enabled and that's why it's in this security status page, but I'm going to uncheck it. Block author scans. So, okay. This is, this can be unchecked too. Um, I don't think this is that important. Um, it basically just hides the, let's say you're posting on a blog. It kind of just hides the information of that. Um, it stops brute force attacks, you know, uh, this could be a good thing or a bad thing, right? And if you're using RootPal as your hosting company, you can leave this unchecked and I'll tell you why right now. This is saying it stops the, the hackers from getting your user ID uh, from a blog post, right? Cause they say this was posted by Justin Bell, right? And they can somehow get your username from that post and they, cause they know Justin Bell, they can guess Jay Bell is the username or something, whatever. Right. And they'll somehow get the username and then they'll do a brute force attack to find your password. But this, this is kind of, um, it doesn't really matter. And I'll, I'll tell you why, if you're using RootPal as hosting, RootPal will automatically block the IP address after 15 incorrect attempts into your WordPress website. So we have a really good security system that will ban their IP address. They won't be able to try logging in for another 15 minutes after that 15 failed attempt brute force attack. So this can be un uh, unleft touched. But that's if you're using RootPal as a web hosting company. Um, disable scripts, cotton, uh, cotton canation for WordPress admin panel. Yeah, I, I don't want. Um, I don't think you, I think you could leave this enabled and not affect anything. Forbid execution of PHP scripts in the W content uploads directory. Uh, yeah, I mean, this might. This might break some different plugins uh, that compress your images. So maybe leave this unchecked. I don't think this is something you need unchecked. Forbid execution of PHP scripts in the W includes. Uh, hmm. I'd leave this one checked. I don't think there's a lot of things that mess with the W includes directory, but you can also uncheck it. I don't think it's that important. Um, Block access to some files. Perfect. So these are the settings I think you should secure 100%. Um, these right here, you can leave unchecked. So I'm leaving six unchecked for my website. You can check them. You can 100% check all of them right here and just secure your website. It'll be super secure, but you're gonna have issues with other plugins that you're using. So I think if, um, if you leave these unchecked right here, uh, right here. So if you leave these unchecked right here, you shouldn't have, sorry, there we go. You shouldn't have any plugin issues, but you still might, right? Because sometimes they need to, some plugins will access the wconfig.php. So, but it's fine. I think these settings are secure and I'm going to secure my website now. So all you do is click that secure button. It's going to apply the settings to your WordPress website. These are going to turn to OK status and the security measure is applied. So just like that, um, we were able to increase our security massively without installing WordFence, without installing another plugin. 
and all we we did it right from the WordPress toolkit. We didn't have to do anything, and it's super simple. So already our WordPress website is a lot faster. Uh, not sorry, not a lot faster, a lot safer from hackers, uh, and we were able to configure everything from the WordPress toolkit. So that's it. That's how you update your WordPress security right d directly right from the WordPress toolkit. Um, if you have any issues with any other plugins, um, if you're having some issues developing using some, you know, building your website or whatever, make sure you just come in to check uh, the check security page. Again, you can disable the security measures, um, you know, if it's affecting any type of plugin. So yeah, it's, it's really cool. It's a really quick way to, um, increase your security without installing plugins and everyone needs to use it and apply those security measures because it's, it's so simple, but yeah, that's it. Thank you. If you have any questions or you have any, uh, you want us to help you secure your website, contact RuPal support and create a support ticket or reach out to our live chat support and we'll help you secure your website. Thank you.